Bruins here in Philadelphia who fell in love with this team and you here at the World Series. Well, I, I mean, as, as a baseball player, I can just say that this is the greatest city to play for in the world. And, uh, you know, the fans here have been so incredible for me in my career. And, uh, you know, I, I said this before, but it's really true. If I could personally thank each one of them, I mean, going with, when they come up to me on the street, on the street and say, uh, you know, thanks for what you did, I, I tell them thank you too because uh, without, without the fans, it wouldn't have happened. So, uh, you know, that will always be such an amazing memory for, uh, for myself and for the city. And I just think uh, I'm very fortunate to be the guy that was on the mound at the time when it happened. And, uh, you know, fortunately, we'll always have that memory. You'll forever be beloved in this town for that pitch, you know? Well, you know, this is a, this is a, probably the greatest place to have that memory. So, um, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna win a World Series, here, here's the spot. So, you know, I, like I said, I'm I'm just thrilled to death and to be in that spot when I was in that spot at that time. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's the greatest city to play for in the world. Are you, in a sense, kind of leaving your heart here in Philadelphia, going to Washington? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely. You know, I think uh, you know, mentally, you, you get focused on the season coming up. You want to make sure that uh, you're ready to pitch for the Washington Nationals. Of course, uh, spring training will, will kind of get me used to the uniform and everything else. But um, of course, my, my heart is here. You know, I think uh, nothing's going to change that. But um, obviously, there'll be times where I got to pitch against the Phillies. So uh, you know, when that, when that happens, you, you put your head down, you get out there, and, and uh, you get the hitters out. How did your life change when you won the World Series? Um, you know, we uh, it, it changed quite a bit. I think, uh, obviously, baseball-wise, I think, um, you know, just in terms of, uh, of recognition going around town, and um, you know, even back in Colorado, where, where we go back to a lot of times during the winter. Uh, this year, we stayed here, but um, you know, even people back there, and, and kind of everywhere that's not necessarily known to be a baseball town, kind of recognize, uh, you know, people watch the World Series, and so uh, it was it was pretty pretty amazing for me, pretty special for me. But like I said, I'm, I'm I feel just super lucky that it happened to me here, of all places. You're still here, obviously you're here today, you're still around town, but once you get down to Washington, how much are you going to miss this place? Well, I'm sure I'm going to miss a lot. I mean, uh, you know, I think uh, I've been able to talk to Jason Worth a lot. You know, he's uh, he's getting his career started out there in Washington. And, um, you know, the, the teams, obviously, the dynamics are a lot different. Um, but, you know, I think uh, it'll be one of those things where I try not to think about it too much. And, and I try and just focus on what I'm doing for 2012. Um, you know, I think Washington has a very good team. And, uh, Perhaps can even push the Phillies a little bit this year, but of course I'll be missing this place. And every time I come here to, to pitch against the Phillies, I'll be thinking about the memories I've had. Uh, being up there in that bullpen will be uh, very unusual to be on the visitor side of that bullpen. Now you, you've been down to Washington for Phillies games. When they go to Washington, you've seen all the Phillies fans there. I don't know if you heard, the Nationals are trying to keep the Phillies fans out of the park campaign. How do you think that's going to go? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you know, <clears throat> they're able to do it. Um, I think that's a great thing for their organization because, yeah, you know, obviously when we, when the Phillies have played down there in the past, it's been uh, a lot of Phillies fans. I mean, to the point where it's, uh, I think they, they got a little frustrated with it. I think that's why they want to make that move. And um, I think it's uh, it's kind of cool to, to just kind of let the fans down there know that hey, you know, enough's enough. You know, this is this is the Nationals baseball park. Let's uh, let's get the fans in here and uh, even things out at least. So, uh, but it's uh, it was, uh, you know. When, when you were playing for the Phillies, I said it was a home away from home, and uh, uh, but I think that will probably start to change a little bit as the Washington Nationals organization continues to get better and better. You, know, you just mentioned them getting better and better. With that up-and-coming team, is that one of the reasons what was so attractive to you? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's one thing to want to stay close to where you know my my kids are going to be going to school and stuff, but um, if the Nationals were maybe where they were a couple of years ago, it probably wouldn't have been a very attractive option. Um, but the fact that last year they finished at 500 and they had a bunch of key guys hurt, um, you know, I think really kind of shows the path they're headed on. Uh, this year, if they expand the wild card, you know, to another team, which we're thinking about doing, you know, I think the Nationals have a very good chance of being there, even if they don't. I think that, uh, you know, the NL East is where the wild card is going to come out of, and I think the Nationals have an outstanding chance of being that team.